Hi, I'm Maria Valdecera. Sometimes you may need data but are unable to find exactly what you need in the tables on data.census.gov. The good news is you have another tool available to use that allows you to create a custom table for a few different types of higher level geographies. During this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through an example of using our microdata access tool to do just this. We'll create custom estimates by picking and choosing our own variables. For this example, let's say I need to know what detailed languages are spoken at home in California by sex. On data.census.gov, the language spoken at home filter doesn't return a pre-tabulated table that crosses detailed language by sex. This is when the Microdata Access Tool, or MDAT, comes in handy. To start, MDAT can be found at data.census.gov MDAT. First, we need to choose which survey we want to pull data from. MDAT currently has public use data from both the American Community Survey, or ACS, and the Current Population Survey, or CPS. However, for detailed language data, we want to focus on the ACS one-year estimates. Although the ACS one-year public use data goes back to 2004, I want the most recent data available, so we can keep the vintage as 2021. Click the Next button in the lower right corner. At this time, we can add our variables from the Select Variables tab. We're looking for language spoken at home and sex. Underneath the label column, you'll see a search bar. This is where I'll enter language to easily locate the language spoken at home variable. I can see that the LANP variable is the one that I want. To select the variable, click the checkbox on the left side. Keep in mind too that if I already knew the name of the variable, I could have entered the name LANP into the search bar under the variable heading. Next, I'll delete language from the search bar under the label column and enter sex. Then I'll select the checkbox on the left side for the variable sex. Now we will add our geography from the Select Geographies tab. Since I only need the data for California, from the geographies list, I'm going to select state. Then I'll select the checkbox next to California. If we wanted to make changes to the variables that we've selected, such as creating a recode consisting of a group of different detailed languages, we could use the data cart tab. However, I want to leave the variables as they are for this example. Now let's move to the table layout tab. This is where we can get an idea of the default layout of the table. You can also use this section to rearrange a table to your liking. I'm good with the default setup, so I'm not going to change anything. Finally, to see the data populated in a table format, we can select the View Table button in the far right corner of the screen. Once your custom table is created, you still have the option to customize the variable in your table or change the data set and vintage. However, I'm happy with this table as it is. As you can see, we have data for the languages spoken at home in California along the left side of the table. Then the columns break it out by the total number of people who speak each language, along with the number of males and females who speak each language. I also wanted to mention that there is a download slash share button at the top of the page. To have your table open in an Excel file, you can click the download share button. Then click on the box next to download table view .csv and click the download button. You can see that the table opens and gives you the same data that you saw on the screen. Before the download button, there is a bookmark link that you can copy. This allows you to share the table you created or save it so you can easily access this table again. I hope this proves useful to you. For more guidance on using the Microdata Access Tool, please see our resources page at the link found below. Thank you.